Linguistic Philosophers! This week's theme is immigration, and again, I am one of those people who don't really know all that much about immigration. That's one topic that I've really never had that much interest in when it came to politics. It really hasn't been that much of a hot-button issue lately. Um, it was certainly a hot-button issue when uh, George W. Bush was president, when he wanted to build, like, a fence along the border of Mexico in the United States because that was an idea that he had. At least in this country, um, immigration is certainly viewed differently in different parts of the country, not just because of, like, political differences, like it tends to be more conservative in the South, it tends to be more liberal in the North, but it, we just have a lot of different kinds of immigrants that come to the United States. Over where I live, we have a ton of Japanese and Filipino and Pacific Islander immigrants in this state. And that's different from like California and Arizona where they have a lot of Mexican immigrants. And then on the East Coast you have a lot of like Eastern European and like Italian, Mediterranean immigrants. And then in like the Midwest you surprisingly have a lot of like Russian immigrants and like Amish people. It's just, it's so different because we're such a big country and we are kind of like a melting pot, or at least we should be. Um, there's a lot of people in this country that don't think like that, and I'm not one of those people. I think that we should be a melting pot and we should remain that way. A lot of people say, you mentioned it just like, oh, the illegal immigrants are taking their jobs. It's like, they're taking the jobs that the upper middle class and upper class white people don't want to take. That's just how it is. Like in Washington right now we have a shortage of apple pickers and so there's a ton of crops of apples that aren't going to be picked this fall because they just have a shortage of people to pick them. If we had a lot more immigrants in this state, at least on the east side of the state, um, we wouldn't have that shortage. That's just how it is. Like. The immigrants that come over here and the illegal ones, they get the jobs that nobody else wants to do and as long as they pay their taxes, like that's the only thing I have against the idea of illegal immigration is that if you do it to evade your taxes, that's not cool. And I know a lot of people who are actually like second generation immigrants who their parents were illegals and they were are technically not citizens because their parents never like registered as an American citizen. There's a lot of different groups, I guess, that want to punish whole families, um, families of illegal immigrants, when children who technically were not born here, but maybe their parents immigrated here when they were like babies or toddlers or small children, and they, like the children may as well have be an American citizen, but because they weren't born here, it's not technical. It's not fair because if it was so much easier to become an American citizen, we wouldn't have that problem. We wouldn't even have the question of building a fence with a border to Mexico. Like, that's just ridiculous. Some policies actually um, to deter illegal immigration in Arizona, they can literally just stop you on the street and check your ID. Racial profiling to make sure that you're not an illegal immigrant in Arizona. That's fucked up. Like, Arizona has so many messed up policies about immigration and about everything, really. Like, Arizona sucks. Like, it's just weird thinking about, like, the difference in perspective about immigration in this country because there's such a broad spectrum of beliefs just in our country, and we have so many different kinds of people who come here. I like when people from other countries immigrate here because it just increases people's just knowledge of other cultures because there's so many people who are so, like, sheltered in their own culture and they don't get enough exposure to other cultures. And I think I'm lucky here up in Seattle-ish area that we have so many different kinds of cultures here. I mean, we are pretty white, but I mean, if you looked at the population of universities here in the state of Washington, there are so many Asian, Filipino, Pacific Islander kids. Either ones that, that come over for exchange and they go to school here, or ones who are second and third generation Americans who, like their parents or their grandparents immigrated. The first university I actually went to my freshman year, I felt like kind of a minority. Like, there were like very few black people that went to my school but there were a ton of Asian Pacific Islander people. 
And that's that was really cool, just like being exposed to that. And that should be more the like idea about immigration in this country. Like it shouldn't be so focused on like, oh, they're taking our jobs. It's overpopulated. Like, like we've had the same amount of illegal immigration forever. Like I can't think of any time where we've had more illegal immigrants. So like, it's not really gonna change. Like we're gonna be overpopulated either way. So if they just made it easier to do things, like it, it would just solve the problem. I mean, we are the land of the free, home of the brave. Like, it's pretty relevant. Like, Columbus Day was last week, and a whole bunch of people were protesting Columbus Day because suddenly now people are being really PC about Native Americans. I mean, I'm not somebody who who is, like, politically incorrect, but really? Like, now? People are protesting Columbus Day because him coming here led to the genocide of a ton of Native Americans and he brought over syphilis and a whole bunch of other bad shit but it's like he discovered the country like I don't know I mean I'm glad that it's not really a hot button issue because it shouldn't take up so much energy talking about trying to keep out illegal immigrants like they should just make it easier like there are so many laws are so unnecessary like they should make becoming a citizen way easier. They should make marijuana legal. Just because enforcing those laws take up so much more time and money and energy than the the damage that it would do if they made them like not problems. I don't know where I was going with this but immigration should be way easier to do in this country and I know that it's definitely easier to do than like in Australia the way that you put it Michaela that sounds like it sucks down there you guys have not that many people like the most populated places that I noticed were like pretty liberal and there's a lot of Asians like I was very surprised of how many freaking Asians were in Australia from what you and other people told me it's like the conservative and the like racist and bigoted areas are like the less populated like farmland so I don't know why they have that much of an opinion. I mean, there's definitely a percentage of this country that is still incredibly racist. Like, last month at the freaking Republican National Convention, when a, like, representative from Puerto Rico, which is technically, like, part of the United States, this woman came up to talk, who is a Republican? And a whole bunch of people started chanting, USA, USA. I want to punch you all in the face. Seriously. We are the home of the free, the land of the brave. We came to this country to have religious freedom and to have all sorts of freedoms. To make it difficult for people to come over from other countries for that exact reason seems like against the original idea of America. I don't know if that made any sense, but I like taking on bigger topics because it makes me think a lot. I'll see you guys later. Bye!